Advertising is everywhere. And what you read, what you watch, what you eat, what you wear, they're in the sky, they're on the ground, they're in the water. Our economy thrives on you buying more and more and more, even though you don't need any more. And, oh yeah, you're in debt. The goal of advertising is simple, get you to buy a product, to make you say yes, I want this, I need this, my life will be better with this retro cowbell dispenser, but a mason jar too, that is adorable. This is the mug that won't fall over. Watch this. It fell, it fell. We wanted to learn how advertisers capture our attention and get us to buy stuff we don't even really need. So we turned to Jonas Sachs, an advertising executive and co-founder of Free Range Studios, to explain a few ways brands get into our heads. How do ads tell us who we are or give us, tell us who we should be? We see 3,500 of them a day. And the majority of them basically tell us, you suck, and if you don't buy this product, you're not going to be rich enough, smart enough, hot enough. And so we walk around being told 3,500 times a day how deficient and lame we are. Are there any ads that have stuck out in your mind? You know, the number one most shared advertisement on YouTube of all time is that Dove Real Beauty Sketches ad. Mm -hmm. They make the Real Beauty Sketches, it's all about how women are so much more beautiful than they think they are through this stunt of the police artist who's sketching them. Tell me about your hair. They make a picture of what they think they look like right. versus what a stranger thinks. Kind of have a fat, rounder face. People are saying, listen, they're reaching hundreds of millions of people with a positive message about beauty. People want to share it because they say, oh, those are my values, that's my idea. And then you start buying the soap because you share those values. So this is one of those classic shop therapy ads. The, you know, parenthood is hard, drinking Coke is easy. You need to speak to people on the level of identity, you need to speak to people on the level of emotion. There are millions of people who are gonna sit there and be like, yeah, that's my truth, that's it, it's totally me. Thanks, Coke. Why use Beckham? Advertisements tell you not that this product does this thing, it's that people like this use this product. If you want to be like these kind of people, use this product and you're instantly one of them. So you know we all want heroes in our lives and we want to know how to be more like those heroes. And um, you know, watching sports and watching movies that these guys are in, we don't necessarily know how to be more like them, but advertisements tell us how to be. Are you up for whatever? Don't answer. Grab a Bud Light and show it. Try new things. Make new friends. I mean, it's all just crafted around creating a gap. You know, you don't have enough, you don't have what's right. It's not necessarily even that the audiences are sitting at home and saying, oh man, I, I need to spend more time in the club. It's like saying, they're saying everybody else is in the club, and why aren't you there? So advertising is just a constant fear of missing out. There's a huge amount of that. Wow, advertisers are like crappy friends. They make us feel needy, ugly, and uncool, but we keep them around anyway. This is a beautiful moment. Sure could use a Coke.